Remember when this broke? I was pushing Brit and it just snapped. The links are rusted out. You should get someone to fix it someday. So Orson could be able to play on it. Orson will play on this again. I know. We'll find him. Papa? Is everything all right? I've been thinking about Orson and how I can help the most. You've been great, Papa. You're a sweet angel. But I know I've just been in the way. Making things harder. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not well, Astrid. I've been seeing things. Upsetting you and your sister. That's not true. Yes, it is. And I'm just slowing down the search for Orson. Every day he's out there, I... Meta got me thinking. Maybe it's time for me to leave. What do you mean? She thinks I should leave town with her. I need to get well and... Maybe... Someplace... Brighter. You want to leave town with Meta while Orson is still missing? I don't want to keep getting in your way. Maybe leaving town is the best thing I could do for you. And Orson. I want you to have the farm when I'm gone. Papa, what am I supposed to do with a farm? You can do anything you want with it. It's yours. There are too many bad memories for me here. Oh, come now. Not all of them are bad. We had some good times here too. Didn't we? It must mean something. You can't be here. Sure I can. I'm the survivor of a mass shooting. I'm here for treatment for my lingering psychological issues. So the question is, are you going to help me by answering my questions? Here? Now? Why not? They're not going to interrupt. Interview subject, Astrid Johansson, eldest daughter of the Johansson family. Say hi, Astrid. Let's start with the recent suspension of Detective Haugen. There's been talk of tampering with and even fabrication of evidence. So my first question is this. Did you know it was almost impossible for Detective Haugen to identify her daughter Asta's body after the shooting? I'm sorry, what? Should I repeat the question? I, that had nothing to do with me, and you know it. What happened to her was terrible. She shouldn't have been where she was. Are you blaming the victim for what happened to her? I... That's not what I... I'm sorry, can we please start over? This isn't going like I thought. Nope. I only needed one bullet, and I think I got it. You know the old parable about the scorpion and the toad? I can't change my nature, Astrid. Just like you and your family can't change yours. No matter how much you try. She's gone. Rachel. 
She left. Already? What did the tribunal decide? The tribunal didn't have to decide at all. Rachel announced that she was leaving the Foundation. She... she what? She left us. Left you. And to think I believed she was blessed by the Purifier. How could I have been so wrong? What happens to her now? I don't know. But she's made her choices. And none of them included you. Faith is gone now, Rachel. I feel like I'm losing hope of ever seeing my daughter again. That's the withering. That drives us apart. Makes us feel isolated. Even when we're not. I don't see how we're going to end it. Nothing we've done has worked so far. Then we need a new approach. Our strongest weapons are our connections to each other. Emotional. Spiritual. Physical. Don't you agree? I guess so. We must be willing to give ourselves in every way for the collective strength of the group. Do you know of the merging ceremony? No. I haven't heard of it. It is a ceremony where two souls merge in order to strengthen both parties. Because two souls adjoined are stronger than one alone. And how do they merge? They drop all vanity, all ego, all fear, and become one, physically. So, they sleep together? In layman's terms, yes. By feeding our bodies, we strengthen our souls. I want you to merge with Krista. You two have an obvious bond. We need to make that bond as strong as possible to keep the withering at bay. Don't let your loss of Rachel keep you from doing what you need to do. Let's say I agree to do this. What if Krista doesn't? I think you should talk to her. Have you already asked her? I have. And? What did she say? Xavier! <laughs>